Hola. Hola. Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number 35 for Early, Early Intermediate. Intermediate. I've got a hair in my eye. And today we're going to talk about the two verbs. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a program for you. <laughs> parecer and parecerse. And the combinations because causes confusion. Verdad, India? Verdad. 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 Oh, verdad. Verdad. <risa> you sí, sí, verdad. Bueno, eh, ¿qué has hecho hoy, Cintia? Pues hoy he hecho... no he hecho mucho, la verdad. Eh, esta mañana fui a ver a la vecina uh -huh. porque tenía que despedirme de ella y de su hijo. Eh, fui con Sebastián uh -huh. y luego estuve con Sebastián Tuve una clase, estuve con Sebastián y acosté a Sebastián. Entonces un día Sebastián. ¿no? Un día de Sebastián, como todos los días. Sí. Pero muy bien, ¿eh? me gusta. Uh -huh. ¿Y tú qué tal? ¿Qué y yo eh, he tenido hoy no sé cuántas clases, cinco clases de Skype. Y he enviado mm, unas cajas eh, a España. Ah, sí. Sí. Eh, la penúltima ronda de cajas la penúltima sí y, y nada eh, aquí estamos ¿Y aquí? grabando <risa> grabando podcast muy bien vale eh, Gordon para la gente ok al tema parecer parecerse ok so first of all the verb parecer is to seem is it not or to look like to no? look like yeah to seem or to look like So we've got this parecer, which stands alone, and is also used in in a very similar feel to gustar. You know, me gusta, me parece. Yeah, it's me that gusta, kind me of parece. that kind of feel of of it seeming to me. Yeah. Sí. Mm -hmm. And then we've got parecerse, which is parecerse. reflexive. Yeah. Now. That's to look like. To look like. Yeah. Okay, so let's deal with parecerse first, because vale. that's probably the easiest one to get. Okay, el fase Gordon se parece a su padre. Okay. Físicamente, solo. Mm -hmm. So, se parece a su padre, he looks like his father. Sí. Mm -hmm. And we use the a because it's the personal a. Eh? Personal, sí, yeah? personal a. Eh. Showing some kind of interaction between him and his father, yeah? Se parece... I think it's always with ah, because mm -hmm. it's always... Because he's saying it looks uh, like... Unless you like, say... Or even if it yeah, was, he looked, he looked like a door. Like a door? A door. Se parece a una puerta. So it's still ah, you learned a point, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Who looks like a door? I know a few people who look like a door. Wow. Okay, doorman, for example. Um, because they... Oh, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke. Man. Okay. The door being open, but no. Okay. okay. Bien. So, se parece a. Se parece so, a. So, how would you say? Do you think I look like my mom? Crees que me parezco a mi madre? Okay. Mm -hmm. And how would you say to me, Gordon? You don't look like your father. Gordon, no te pareces a tu padre. Okay. So, just like every reflexive verb. The, the me goes with parezco, the te goes with pareces, and the se goes with parece. Mm -hmm. Never changes. You use the a, and that means to look like somebody. So that's nice and easy, isn't it? There you are. Yeah? <laughs> Toma. Um, now, parecer, parecer. All right? Which is it to seem. It uh -huh. seems. It yeah? seems, yeah? Seem. So typically that's used third person, isn't it? Parece something. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it can be used... Yeah, it can be used with the rest of the persons. Yeah, so. you seem, for example. Uh, what about this one? You seem a little sad. Pareces un poco triste. Okay. Right, well, um, let's get into it. You could Parece say... imposible. Ah. It seems impossible. Okay. Parecemos um, adolescentes. We seem... Like teenagers? teenagers. Oh, we seem teenagers. No, we mm. seem like? We would say, yeah, we seem like teenagers. Oh, yeah? parecemos. Then we wouldn't, we wouldn't say, parecemos como. Como, no, parecemos. Parecemos 
Yeah. And then what? Well, okay. Parecemos adolescentes. All right, so you can, you can relate it to the person, but if yes. you just want to do the it, you're using third person. Parece. Parece. So, parece. parece mentira. Mm -hmm. So we can use it with parece and then um, stick a, something after a that. Noun. A noun. A noun. Or we use with pare, parece and then que. Or a, it no seems dice. that. Sí. Yeah? Parece que... Parece que... Um, parece que estás feliz hoy. Mm -hmm. seems that you, it seems that you are happy today. Sí. O pareces feliz hoy. Pareces feliz hoy. Um, you look. You look. You, you seem, seem. You seem happy today. O uh -huh. parece que estás feliz hoy. Exacto. Yeah? Muy bien. Yeah. So you've got uh, this. It's to seem. But what's the difference then between pareces feliz and me pareces feliz? Okay. One is my opinion. Me pareces feliz. You seem happy to me. To me. Pareces feliz. You seem happy. You seem happy. No yeah. other person. Mm -hmm. So, to me, me, me pareces feliz. To me, mm -hmm. you seem happy. Ah. So, all you're doing is you're putting yourself in the picture. Yeah? Yes. And it's the same with, if you want to say, parece genial, it seems marvelous, wonderful, or me parece genial, it seems marvelous, wonderful, to me. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's all you're doing, right. it's just bringing yourself that's in. That's it. So you get these things like this. Um, okay. Um, Voy a tomar un café. O, ¿Qué te parece? ¿Qué te parece? ¿Te parece? Sí. Me parece bien. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué te parece? So that, how would you translate that? ¿Qué te parece? What do you think about that? ¿Qué yeah. te parece? What does it seem to you? But mm -hmm. you don't say that in that context. No. So we would say... Uh, it could be, what does it seem? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué te parece esto? Esto me parece... Okay. So what does it seem like? What does it look like? What does it seem like? Yeah? Uh -huh. ¿Por ¿Qué mm -hmm. te parece? ¿Qué te parece si... Vamos al cine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you feel about, or yeah. how, what do you think about going to the cinema? Yeah. And I've heard... Well, sorry, I've heard, I keep beating you. It's okay. You're allowed. <laughs> you do it anyway. Okay. Off camera. <laughs> Black and blue. Um, it's on makeup. <laughs> yeah. Just a small screen. <laughs> well, I've heard... ¿Te parece un café? ¿Te parece un café? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I used to, I used to find like bizarre. Does does it seem to you a uh, coffee? And I'm thinking. Excuse me, excuse me, you English people saying, are you black? Are you two sugars? Yeah. You are you two sugars? Yeah. When we make a, when we yes. make, a, I don't know whether this happens in in other English speaking countries, but when people are making coffee or tea, this is what we do. We say. So who is black? Who's so black? Are, are, are you black? <laughs> your your sugar, your sugar, your milk. Are you are milk you, and are you sugar? milk and sugar? <laughs> yeah. Are you white? That's what we do. And you imagine that to a, to a, a, a non yes. a non a person who's not in the culture. You think, yeah, go and say to people. Are you people, white? Are you, are you black? black? And I was like, he's definitely not black. <laughs> and he was like, yes, I'm black. And I was like, okay. <laughs> now I don't know where I am. The <laughs> mundo de Jupi, no? <laughs> if he's black. <laughs> He's obviously the talented, no, what do you say, the most, the, the most talented person in the UK? <laughs> Blank. <laughs> okay, so, okay, well, te parece, mm -hmm. te, or, te parece, do you, te, it's te, almost like, do you fancy, what do you think about it, how does it seem to you, yeah? Si. Does, it, does a coffee seem appealing. Not, like, appealing to you, yeah? So it's just like si. a shortened version of, te parece bien. Or you can say, te hace, te hace un café? That's another version. Te hace. Does it make you? Does it make you a coffee? Does it make you? Qué te hace. El español, te ¿no? hace un café. Do you fancy a coffee? Te hace un café. Correct. Come on, that's going to be short for what? Te apetece, I suppose. Te hace. Te hace. Pensar. La vida <laughs> más bonita. <laughs> <laughs> te hace. Te hace feliz un café. Te hace. <laughs> te hace un café. Te parece un café. Te parece so un café. Not, so bear that in mind because it, it's used a lot. And it isn't that you're going to use it, but when somebody asks you, be prepared. Because the first time somebody said, Te parece un café, I had no idea what it was. Yeah, talking. because you, like, it sounds like, like, does it look like a coffee to you? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> and I said, yes, I got one. I thought, well, that worked out nicely. Okay, but so be ready for yeah. it, yeah? 
Okay. okay. Bueno, entonces, ya. Yeah. And we'll have a lot more information and some, lots of examples. In the help sheets this time, there's going to be far more exercises for you to practice. Wow. Information with lots and lots of exercises, okay? <laughs> so you can get really get some practice in. Okay, entonces, eh, pues nos vamos, ¿no? Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, chicos. Adiós. Adiós.